and I welcome you back to the Debrenic channel and today we are talking about Lake Oroville as you see this live picture right here this is Lake Oroville and there is a massive storm coming towards California and if you think this is worthy of a like hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button it doesn't cost you a dime and only takes a second to do hit the share button too if you would and help get the word out we are going to start off at windy.com like we always do and we are going to roll right over there and see what going on and you can see this is California here so we zoom out a little bit and there's calm before the storm they're going to get some rain out here in the next 24 hours 1.43 and I'm almost sure that this is snow and it is they're gonna get a decent sized snowstorm here in Colorado in the next 24 hours so this is good news this is all west of Denver for Denver you guys remain in that snow drought with very little snow one inch Will that break a snow drought? I don't know if that's technically breaking the snow drought. It has not been a very good season. Last year, you guys got pelted with a whole bunch of snow. And this year, you just can't get anything. And the snow drought just pretty much continues. But over here on the western side of the divide is good news, especially over here in Aspen. 14.7 inches. That's fantastic. That's over an inch of rain accumulation. Anything over 10 inches is generally what you can count on for rainfall this is good news for here over here in the next 24 hours not a whole lot there is a little bit over here by south lake tahoe over here 0 0.9 not a whole lot to write home about and up here by lake oroville lake shasta lake Folsom. you guys don't have a whole lot going on there and the temperatures at chico's 53 and sacramento's 55 san jose 52 you get the gist now we're gonna go the next three days and this thing starts to light up check this out the next three days up by mount shasta up here as we scoot in mount shasta being right here you're talking about a couple inches of rain so this is really good news for mount shasta lake orville's right right through here and you got a little bit coming right there you got 1.33 inches of rain coming here for lake orville here's mount shasta up here we go the next five days the thing really lights up so within the next five days you're talking about a huge massive storm coming in and eight inches here eight inches here so we are with five days and this is the gfs model so we'll see what the european model is here in a minute up here by lake shasta they're not going to get it near as much but they're still going to get quite a bunch five inches of rain precipitation is a lot but my hunch is that this is snow we're going to look yes it's snow so this is good news over here on mount shasta 44 inches and up here 60 inches down here by lake oroville you got 85.5 five inches according to the gfs so we go the next 10 days and this thing gets a little bit more and you got 100 inches here so this is really good news we go to the snow depth currently and there's just not a whole lot of a snow depth here there's actually more down here by mammoth lakes and south tahoe and stuff like that there's quite a bit but up here in the sierras 1.8 just a modest accumulation so we have all that going on let's roll out to the european model so this is the european model as we roll over here to the european model the precipitation they're calling for over 12 inches over here and you can see the difference the other one was calling for eight down here and this one's calling for 11 and this one up here is 12 plus right here so 12.3 and if we take that over to new snow you're talking 124.8 inches so that is just a big difference but i mean really when you're talking 8 to 11 inches it could be anywhere it's just a guess by the computer models take that into consideration we'll split the difference and say 10 inches so even 100 inches here would be great if this comes to pass and we get 125 inches and then there's another warmer system that rolls through like it happened in february of 2017 lake orville had a big snowpack and then a big wet storm came through and melted all that it was like a water hose on the snow and it just literally melted it to nothing quick so we have to be mindful that this could come to pass now if it's a slow melt this is really good news for the lake if it's a fast and furious melt this is not so good for the lake 10 inches of rain that lake will come up quite a bit now last storm wasn't near as much as that i think they got like six or seven inches and it was completely dry now the soil moisture there's still some moisture in the ground because if there wasn't the lakes wouldn't be on the increase they have been trending that way if you've been watching my channel you would know that because i report on it weekly so 
up here in Mount Chasta, 107 inches is what they're forecasting down here at Folsom Lake, which Folsom's right here. So your runoff's going to be over here. You're talking 90 plus inches of snow. And then you got Tahoe right over here, which is in fantastic shape, 77.4 inches, which is good for that. Now let's roll over to Colorado. Let's see what the snow accumulation is for there. And here we are back here and they're calling for 40 inches. So four inches of rain will be good for Lake Powell. Lake Powell is trending down. Last time I looked, it was looking down. We will look here in a little bit and see what is going on there. And all the way up here, 31 inches, that's three inches of rain up here 24 inches that's a little over two inches of rain and this is what they want they want this to come in they want it to melt slowly let's look at the snow depth over here and see what's going on so the best snow depth we got is right here 17.6 it's just not a whole lot but it's still fairly early in the season we're getting towards the end of december we're getting really close to the middle of the season so aspen down here is a 10 inches over here to the west of aspen 14.3 and up here by Ville 9.6 and up here 17.1 and we zoom into Denver and they got zero so they're still in the snow drought another day goes down without any snow it continues and you can see as we go to the new snow that Denver is supposed to get one inch and there isn't a whole lot of snow out here in the plains either so that's not good the whole west coast though is going to have a whole bunch of snow all the way up to Alaska so this is good news bad news and this is what's going on let's go check out the water levels at lake oroville lake shasta lake powell and lake mead as we roll over to lake oroville the water level currently is 672.97 feet msl and that's thursday december 9 2021 at 3 p.m the level is 227.03 feet below full pool of 900 and changes since yesterday the sink continues to increase by zero 0.19 feet and let's roll over to Lake Shasta and see what is going on over there. As we roll over to Lake Shasta, the water level is currently 895.86 feet MSL. Thursday, December 9, 2021, 2 p.m. The level is 171.14 feet below full pool of 1067 and the thing is on the increase also of 0.14 feet and we are going to roll over to Lake Powell and see what is going on over there. As we roll over to Lake Powell, the water level is 3,540.66 feet MSL Wednesday, December 8, 2021 at 12 a.m. The level is 159.34 feet below full pool of 3,700 and it's on the decrease of 0 0.16 feet and we are going to roll over to Lake Mead and see where those water levels are. As we roll down to Lake Mead, the water level is currently 1,065.21 feet MSL Thursday, December 9, 2021 at 4 p.m. The level level is 163.79 feet below full pool of 1,229 feet and the thing is on the increase by 0 0.05 feet. That's all I have for tonight so expect me back Saturday for another update on these storms. I'll be back Saturday morning and that is all I have for tonight. God bless. We'll see you soon.